Hey, how you doing? First and foremost, I want to give my condolences, my wife and I, our condolences towards the George Floyd family and the pain that they've gone through and the things that they're experiencing right now. We're just praying for you. We're believing the best for you and we do love you. Uh, my wife and I growing up in Detroit, Michigan, uh, we understand, uh, we understand and we know being in, uh, coming from a black community, we, we feel you and we're praying. And uh, we know that there are others that are not even from the community or communities like ours that are also praying. So we just want you to be encouraged and God's going to get us all through this. With that being said, we are putting a priority, Embassy Christian Center, our church, we're putting priority on prayer this Wednesday. And we want to invite people to come out because I believe that this is a historic moment. This is a time where we can really make inroads and really begin to push back the gates of hell. You know, the Bible says that Christ was going to build or has built his house, his church upon the rock and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. We know that Christ is that rock. The other thing I want to say is that gates do not progress forward. They are stationary. They're there to protect territories. But Christ said, and the church will prevail against the gates. So in order for us to prevail against the gates, we have to be moving forward. We have to be progressive. So that's my invitation for you this Wednesday night at 7 p.m. that we can come together and we can be, be progressive and we can begin to push back the gates of hell. God answers prayers. He promised that he would hear us. Even in the example of the uh, woman that went to the judge, God said if an unrighteous judge would hear the plea of a woman, then how much more would he hear our cry? So let's come together and let's begin to pray in this historic moment. And then let's see God, not just for him to dispatch angels and he's going to do that, but for strategic strategies as to what God wants to do and how he wants us to mobilize and to attack this demon called racism and that we're going to win and then we're going to pray for a whole lot more than that we want to pray for our government we want to pray for the police department we want to pray and believe god to do supernatural things we want to pray for our nation and your presence being here is uh, crucial so come on out this wednesday night at 7 p.m uh, we want to bombard the gates of hell and they are not going to prevail against them. So, having victory in Jesus' name. God bless you. Look forward to seeing you. Be blessed.